introducing the Cine Collection version 3. We're going to take a quick look at using these presets in Photoshop, Adobe, Camera, Raw. So these presets will work in any version of Photoshop that has Adobe Camera Raw installed. So just make sure you've got the most up-to-date version of Adobe Camera Raw. So to use these presets, we need to open a raw image in Photoshop. And when we open it, you can see the Adobe Camera Raw module start. Now your presets can be found under the presets tab over on the right. You want to start by doing a white balance and a lens correction on your image and you need to go back to the basic tab and manually adjust the exposure. I'm also going to crop this image in just a little bit. Now back to the presets tab, you can see our presets over here on the right hand side. Each one comes with a base preset and a plus preset. The plus preset version is going to give you a stronger flavor of that preset, so more contrast and more saturation. We've built on the work of the previous versions of the Cine Collection and added a greater color separation and color contrast between the warm skin tones and the neutral blue, teal and green areas to bring you a truly cinematic look. Once you've applied your chosen preset, go back into the basic tab and readjust the temperature and exposure. Now adjusting the temperature can greatly affect the outcome of your image. Seeing as the presets are based heavily on color, Cooling or warming the image can change the overall look quite dramatically. And as well, these presets are fully customizable. So for this, I'm going to increase the shadows a little bit. And I'm going to put the saturation up as well. Now, if we go back into the presets tab, you'll also notice that we have these grain presets. So we have a cine grain fine. If I zoom in, you'll be able to see it. And then we have a cine grain rough, which emulates the look of 35 millimeter film. And it's as simple as that. So remember, open your raw image, do your first corrections, apply your preset, go back and adjust the exposure and the white balance of your image, and then customize the settings to suit. If you have any questions about using the Cine Collection version 3, feel free to contact our team. Welcome to the Cine Collection version 3.